Sean Diddy Combs has recently been looking to offload one of his two Los Angeles mansions. While the rapper is hoping to get $7 million for the crib, he never actually lived here. It was home to his ex, Kim Porter, who unexpectedly died in the mansion. The traditional style estate was located in Toluca Lake, while the home Diddy still lives in is his $39 million main mansion in the Holmby Hills neighborhood. The mogul also keeps a compound on the exclusive Star Island in Miami, where he owns two side-by-side -side mansions, and today we're going to be taking a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sean Combs, also known as P. Diddy, Diddy, or one of his many stage names, is a rapper, record executive, and producer, as well as an entrepreneur. At the time of this recording, the icon has amassed an estimated net worth of about $800 million, so it's no surprise he owns a handful of stunning mansions. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out the homes of P. Diddy, including the Toluca Lake spot he has on the market. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and we're kinda close, so if you're watching and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, hit me up on Instagram if you wanna chat, and now let's get into this video. In recent news, Diddy is seeking $7 million for this traditional style mansion located in the Toluca Lake neighborhood. While he's owned the residence since 2009 when he bought it for $5.3 million, it's not the rapper who was living here. Instead, the property was the longtime home of his ex, Kim Porter, also the mother of four of his children. Sadly, Kim died unexpectedly in this very home back in 2018. The clapboard-sided abode was built back in 2006 and sits on half an acre of land with a fully walled and gated property along with a security system for protection. Toluca Lake is a neighborhood in LA in the San Fernando Valley, about 12 miles from downtown, and there's a private natural lake here maintained by local property owners. Diddy's home is on what may be the best street in all of Toluca Lake, where some of the neighbors include Viola Davis, Steve Carell, and Billy Ray Cyrus. The family-friendly mansion has a welcoming front entrance and motor court, but once inside, you'll realize the East Coast traditional is vacant and unfurnished. It seems the only thing left from when Porter lived here is the dated 2011 Cadillac Escalade sitting in the driveway. Anyways, the mansion spanned 9,655 square feet of space with six bedrooms and 6.5 bathrooms throughout. Walking in, there's a soaring entryway with double height ceilings, black and white marble floors, a crystal chandelier, and a curved staircase, which connects to a great room with fireplace. It seems that the home may need some slight work or at least some updating from the future owners. The grand home has hardwood flooring throughout most of the rooms and other amenities include a chef's kitchen with top of the line stainless steel appliances and elsewhere a screening room. The upstairs master bedroom was also luxurious, boasting a private balcony and fireplace as well as a spa style attached bath. The grounds of Diddy's mansion had mature trees surrounding the property, as well as manicured hedges, a sports court, outdoor fireplace, and sheltered dining area. Of course, there's also an impressive dark bottom swimming pool with spa and Baja sun deck. Now for Diddy's main mansion, which is worth a whopping $40 million. The rapper purchased the property in 2014, and it's located in the upscale neighborhood of Holmby Hills, Los Angeles, and he originally moved to LA for the kids, the family, the weather. His home is a European-style villa, which was renovated just before he moved in, and now it spans 17,000 square feet of space with 8 beds and 11 baths. The former owner was an LA-based luxury developer who got rid of the existing 1930s-style mansion and replaced it with their current structure, which was even larger. Although there were no listing photos of the interior that I could find, Diddy opened up his doors to the large property a few years back when he was answering questions for Vogue. We can see he has a large open entryway with spiral staircase and sparkling chandelier. Then we catch a look at the open plan living area where there are two large living rooms. His decor here is very clean with lots of white furnishings and black accents. There's also plenty of floor to ceiling windows and glass French doors opening up to the patios outside his mansion. The main living room features a large fireplace and personal bar. There's an attached dining area and a custom eat-in kitchen with all the appliances you could ask for. 
Other lavish features of Diddy's custom mega mansion include a home movie theater with room for 35 guests, a fitness center, and a wine storage room. Not to mention, TMZ reported there's a separate spa pavilion with steam room, massage area, and full service beauty salon. Outside, Diddy's massive villa sits on 1.3 acres of land, and the luxury amenities continue, with a 3,000 square foot detached guest house complete with bedrooms, a kitchen, living area, and more. Elsewhere, there's a lagoon-style swimming pool and adjacent grotto, which are connected by an underwater swimming tunnel that would give the famed grotto at the neighboring Playboy Mansion a run for its money. Diddy also has a compound on Miami's exclusive Star Island, where he owns two side-by-side -side mansions. First is his 13,000 square foot estate he bought back in 2003, and the other is the $35 million house next door he snagged off Gloria Estefan this past summer. The rapper's original mansion cost him over $14 million and is a two-story mega mansion formerly owned by music mogul Tommy Mottola. Inside, there's over 19,500 square feet of space with nine beds, 12 baths, and features like a luxury swimming pool and boat dock. Now Diddy snagged the property next door, which was the famous conga singer Gloria Estefan's property. She and her husband Emilio Estefan still live on Star Island, but this was their second residence and used for family members. Inside, the entire mansion has white themed decor to match the sunshine and ocean surrounding the home, as well as the exterior, which is also a crisp white. The home was built back in 1940 and upgraded since, featuring hardwood and marble floors, elegant arched doorways, and open patio spaces. The house sits on 1.2 acres of land and inside boasts 8,000 square feet of space with 6 beds, 10 baths, and 240 feet of sparkling waterfront. One of the living rooms featured a white fireplace and large windows for plenty of views, while the kitchen is spacious with a long center island, also decked out in the same color scheme. Other features inside the house include a piano room, second floor loft, and a bonus private entrance. Most or all of the bedrooms boast views of the water in addition to their own terraces, and elsewhere there's a separate tiled hot tub located within a classy courtyard. Aside from the main mansion, the property boasts another separate two-story guest house at the front of the property with three bedrooms, two full baths, and a half bath. The backyard has a resort-style pool and spa, which has got to be the main attraction back here, but you also have the ocean just a few steps away. Star Island is a man-made island that was completed in 1922 and set within the Key Biscayne Aquatic Preserve, which is about 75,000 acres of state-protected submerged land. The island is best known for being home to celebrities, which includes Diddy himself. So now we've checked out the home in LA P. Diddy is selling as well as the other homes he still owns. After this house tour, which of the rapper's properties was your favorite? I think his Holmby Hills one is the nicest, but it seems to me they're all equally luxurious. Even the one he's selling in Toluca Lake is a stunning traditional mansion. Looking at the sizes of the estates he lives in, it seems to me that with Diddy, bigger homes are always better. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about his mansions down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!